Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a mine. Um, you start with a paper tube, such as this, and you tie a string around one end. It helps if you have the former that you use to make the tube inside to keep uh, this inside flap right here from moving outward. If you have that in the former inside when you put this on, it will keep that from happening. So, you tie that string around to seal the top off. Now, you take a piece of cardboard like this and uh, you, get a, you start with a square, you cut the corners off and then you put this on the end of your former and make a cup out of it, like so. You then poke holes in the bottom like that to allow fire to pass through. Alright, you now take your can right here and you load in stars. I am actually also going to put a comet inside just for good measure. So, I'll drop my comet in first because you want your stars on the bottom. So you got your comet in there. Drop in handfuls of stars. Now, the amount of stars you put in a mine uh, does not matter as much as you would think. The weight is uh, more than compensated for by the disc design that I use, which is using this disc and these flaps around the outside here. Instead of just using a circular disc with no flaps, um, these flaps will grip the inside of the mortar and with a small amount of black powder send your stars a lot farther than just a circular disc without those flaps around the outside. So, let's see, that's that's probably about as many stars as I want in there. Add two more, there you go. Now you knock it to level the stars out. You then load in your disc. You'll notice this tube is already wrinkled. It's because I, uh, <laughs> I actually made an attempt at making this video earlier, but my computer didn't accept the video from the camera for some reason, so I'm remaking it. So, here you go. Here is your disc loaded. Nice and flat in there. Remember to put those holes in. Now, you take your black powder. This is about 15 grams for a three inch mortar. It's actually less than 15 grams. I only have 14 grams made right now. I'm very low. <laughs> there goes the last of my black powder. All right, so that's 14 grams. I would usually use 15. Now, um, there are two ways of fusing this. Well, actually there's more than that, but there's two common ways of fusing these. Um, for those who can get their hands on quick match, just stick your quick match end, uh, end right in there. Fold these flaps over, like so. Put a piece of tape over the top, and uh, run your quick match all the way out the mortar. Since I am out of quick match too, since I make my quick match with my black powder, and I'm now out of that, I'll be using a piece of visco. I have poked a hole in the side of this tube somewhere in here. Where's it at? Uh, right here. Right here, there's a hole in the side. I'll stick my visco through there. Oh, I'm remake that hole and shift it a little bit. Okay, hole is made. Stick the visco through there. Fold this flap in first. Now, now, okay, this is something that you need to remember. My visco right here burns at nine seconds an inch. Your green visco, if you're using that, probably burns at two seconds an inch. So you want way more than what I'm using. This will last about 20 seconds to get into there. Yours, if it were this long, would last about four. So you want way more than that with green visco. Now you fold these flaps down. Remember to fold the one with your fuse in it down first so that that's sticking right in the black powder. And you stick a piece of tape over that. Tape 
over this like so. And run the fuse right up the side like so. And your mine is completed. This is a very fast way of making a mine and uh, well I shouldn't speak too soon but in the past they've performed quite well. Let's go fire this thing. Thank you.